Where were you exactly where this, uh, when this uh, happened? And you hear the, the shot ring out. Where, where were you? you uh, well, uh, I, you mean uh, how close was I to him? Or, no, where or, were or, you in terms of the demonstrations? This was an uh, area that they'd uh, tried to secure. Is that right? Yes. Well, here's the, here's the uh, scene in Bangkok today. It's a, sort of out of a, it's, it's a combination of, uh, I don't know, Mad Max and, and some medieval scene. There, there are bamboo pikes and uh, there are uh, rubber tires that have been fashioned into uh, barricades uh, that block uh, major intersections. And inside this encampment, uh, you have uh, all these protesters. And we were just inside that wall, just inside the, this makeshift uh, uh, barricade. Uh, and uh, and uh, we, uh, Seydang, was, was facing out into the city, facing out into this business district where there are uh, tall buildings and, uh, uh, and other places uh, that, uh, uh, that could have been uh, the, uh, the location of uh, whoever, whoever did the shooting. And, and no indication, obviously, of, of where the shot came from. One imagines if he was the target and it hits him in the head, somebody had a pretty good beat on him. Uh, yes, I mean he was um, he was standing uh, in the same location for a while when I was talking to him, but he was moving around. He was just gesticulating. Um, he, I was just looking over the series of photos I, I took of him. He was, uh, you know, he, he wasn't he wasn't standing still. He was bobbing his head, um, and uh, uh, it. Um, it seemed to me, I, I, look, I, I'm not a ballistics expert by, by, any, by any stretch, but um, uh, I was facing him. Uh, he was answering my question, looking at me, uh, and uh, uh, the bullet hit him in the forehead, uh, from, uh, from what I can tell. So it, it looks like the bullet kind of came over my head uh, and, and struck him. So uh, uh, that's, uh, you know, uh, I don't have... Uh, uh, I don't have slow motion uh, video to, uh, I don't have video at all, but I, uh, I don't have any way of uh, confirming this beyond just uh, what I remember uh, from the scene. But uh, it, it, it sort of felt like it, it grazed my head and, and hit him in the forehead. And, and so the, he didn't have, obviously, much security other than the protesters there himself. And this shot apparently coming from outside, I don't know, outside the barricades. It see, yes, it, it certainly seemed to me that the shot came from outside the barricades. We were right near the edge of the barricades, and there were people all around us uh, on the inside of the barricades, and, and uh, certainly the shooter uh, didn't appear to be there. Uh, he wasn't uh, wearing any protection. He was wearing a camouflage uh, uniform. He had a floppy camouflage uh, hat on. He had a Bowie knife in his belt, as, as is his um, sort of charismatic style. Uh, and... Uh, uh, and and he didn't have uh, uh, bodyguards per se. Uh, there, there wasn't there wasn't any immediate um, uh, uh, reaction by armed people inside. So I, I, no no guns were drawn or anything. So I assume that the people immediately around were not armed. Mm. Now, now uh, this this is not a guy who's uh, popular to say the least with the government. But he's also not all that popular with a with a section of the protest group. True. That's correct. I mean, he's uh, uh, he he is on the one hand um, uh, an impediment to a peaceful solution uh, uh, to uh, this protest. On the other hand, uh, he's uh, 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 he's a, he's a renegade in, in sort of all senses. I mean, he's a, he's a renegade from the army. He's also a hardline. Uh, renegade is a hardliner within the protest movement. There are a lot of leaders within this protest movement who think that their goals have been achieved. They want to call it a day. They're worried about f uh, further violence. He uh, told me today that uh, he, he thought they were uh, uh, being uh, cowardly uh, and he wanted to carry on. Uh, e extraordinary perspective uh, there, Thomas. Uh, really appreciate your time. Uh, a little bit too close to the action. Uh, uh, glad you're safe. Uh, appreciate you talking to us. You're welcome. All right, Thomas Fuller there of the International Herald Tribune.